The right you is at an all-time high. 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 Look, this is a corrections lieutenant who disguised herself to date an inmate. Yes, I had to make a song because the right you is at an all-time high. This, this is madness, okay? She was there, supposed to be in jail, taking care of people, looking after people, making sure things go smoothly. What did she do? She saw this inmate and she thought, mm, 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 ma, 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 ma. And she said, yes, I need to give me some of that. So what did she do? She came in there disguised as a different person every single time with a different wig and a different look to visit this guy. And I don't know how the people that she was working with did not recognize her for eight weeks straight. Yes, you guys, it is wild. Let's cue the intro and get right on into this ratchet video. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Hmm. Mm -mm. You see my face of disgust. I, 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 I don't understand. But um, here we go. So anyway, she was a former corrections officer, power washer. And now she's on probation because of this stuff that she did. She's 30 years old and he's 29 and he went into jail for a burglary and attempted assault. He is 29 now. He's been in jail for 11 years. Okay. So he went to jail when he was 18. This guy has lived his whole adult life in prison. And this woman wants to take the responsibility of uh, molding him into the upstanding citizen that he's supposed to be at least he has somebody but this is wild why she wants to take on this responsibility i i, I don't know i don't know what she's seen in him but we're about to find out i have horrible taste in men yes i am 30 years old and i'm on my my third marriage more than anything in life i i want to be a wife i this is very obvious with with the way you're rushing into marriages. I met Josh when I was a corrections lieutenant. I met Josh when I was a corrections lieutenant. No, you need to let that sink in. You actually need to let this sink in. She wasn't... Look, inmates are humans too. This show has actually showed us this. This show has... <clears throat> I don't want to say glamorized, but it has made us understand inmates more. They're people, they're humans, yada, 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 and that people can change for the better, also for the worse, but for the better as well. Um, the way that she met him, I had to play that twice because it, it's wild. It's madness. Josh was sentenced at 18 years old for burglary. I went through Josh. It's so sad as well because you wonder at 18 years old burglary, what has happened in your life? What is going on in your life that you needed to do that? This, this, the systems, the structures are also not there. Their parenting is not there. The education is not there. There is so much. I have, I'm yet to see a millionaire go and burglarize anything. It doesn't happen, right? So it's all down to um, your social economic status in life. It is terrible. It, there is a reason why people get to this point, and it is sad. And it must have been a pretty violent one as well because he got 11 years, which is a long time. So, and I pulled, she went through his cell. A bunch of his writings so then she saw a bunch of his writings. Are they supposed to be doing these things? Are they supposed, is she not supposed to just kind of check his room, this and that, make sure, you know, everything is cool. Make sure they're not digging a secret tunnel, aka prison break style. Make sure they're not having secret... I don't know, phones. These days, inmates have phones. I see them on TikTok. I see them on social media. I don't know. That That's not allowed, is it? So, secret stuff like that or secret weapons or whatever made out of stuff. I don't know. I think that's what these people are kind of there for. don't know if you should be reading somebody's personal writing, but that is what she did. So, that's where it went wrong already. This woman, they probably need to see what else she's been doing with other inmates because, <laughs> allegedly, possibly... Um, supposedly because yeah that's that's their private stuff I don't think you're allowed to just go through somebody's writings but she she went to them and she read them and then Talking about how he felt abandoned and alone and he didn't know where he fit in and that resonated with me that resonates with a lot of us that resonates with pretty much the whole world even the richest of richest person has felt lonely people have sat in a in a room and felt lonely okay in a room full of people um 
yeah, this, these things happen. Um, but this is what she's going to pinpoint as what made her think. Yeah. Wow. We should get married. I don't know. I don't know. You see, you're coming on a show. If I were you, I'd just formulate what you're about to say that much better, that much clearer. So that, you know, you don't sound... Woohoo! But, okay. Are you coming tomorrow, babe? I mean, I need to... So are you coming tomorrow, babe? Her, her guy says. Check my calendar, see if I'm not busy. Alright, well, you check your calendar and make sure you're not busy for your husband's release, okay? <laughs> and these people are married also. I left that part in. It's not really that important, one might say. But this is why I left it in. He's asking her a rhetorical question. So are you coming to pick me up tomorrow, babe? Of course, you guys have discussed this. And then she's like, oh, I'll have to check my calendar. And then he's like, well, you go and check your effing calendar and see if you're free to come and pick up your effing husband. The reason why I left that in is because of communication. I can already see, mark my words right here, right now. I can already see that there's going to be a communication thing with the two of them. He's going to, he's not been out in 11 years. You guys think about yourself 11 years ago, where you were, what you looked like, what you were doing 11 years is a long periodically time. Okay. So he's been away for a long time. He's going to want things a certain way because life has not gone the way he envisioned it. Okay. If you ever thought this burglary was going to be successful, they probably had it in their mind. I'm sure maybe him and whoever did it with him, or maybe he did it alone. I don't know. Envisioned a great life of luxury. Because the the, the 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 way the burglary must have been done for him to get 11 whole years as an 18 year old, it must have been really whoo. So they must have been going for the big bucks. So he envisioned his life completely different, and now he's been incarcerated for over a decade. He's gonna come out and he's gonna be very strong willed. He's gonna come out and he's gonna tell her what's what. He's gonna come out and he's gonna say, I want this, I want that. He's gonna come out and be snarky. He's gonna be out and be sharp. He's gonna be that that's what's gonna happen. Because how on earth do you ask a rhetorical question and then you get, yeah, some cheeky answer back? It's a rhetorical question. When you ask those, you can get back whatever because it's a rhetorical question. <laughs> of course, she's coming to pick you up. So I don't know. Watch out for this couple and watch out for this guy. Yeah, I've said it. He has the lame. Josh and I got married six months after we started dating. Oh, and how did Josh you do that? proposed to me by getting my portrait. No. Mm-mm. What? <sighs> this guy wanted to marry her. And so he let somebody tattoo. Also, these, these illegal tattoo things that they do in these prisons. I don't know how. I don't know how they do this. But in any case, will you... He <laughs> First, you put her face. Just to propose. Put her face. Okay, at this point, they're married. So... Oh wait, of course not. They're not even married. What if she said no? Hey, yay, 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 yay. This is hmm. okay. So he went on and got her face on his arm. Huge. Not small, huge. And then with the text, would you will you marry me? That stuff doesn't rub off. That doesn't rub off. Hold on. You just wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait one minute. I'm going to show you something. Because me, I don't know what these people are doing. I really don't. I don't understand it. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Just give me a second here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. There's not even a question mark. See, there's not a question mark. He was so convinced. He could have just done something like this. He could have just done something like this. Will you marry me? Point blank period. And yes, the whole thing is uh, it's mirrored, but whatever. Will you marry me? It would have been simple. It would have been simple. Just like that. She says yes, and your arm is free. Now look at you. The rest of your life, you're going to walk around with a tattoo that says, Will you marry me? She'll be old and gray. She won't even look like that anymore. Her, her, the thing would have been all wrinkled on your hand. I guess, I guess, I guess that will help. Because if his hand starts to shrimp shrivel whatever the word is then she will look a bit older as the years go by and it will still say will you marry me Wh why who is that tattoo artist why why would you do this why why would you do this eh 
tattooed on his arm and the words, will you marry me? And I told him, absolutely, I'll marry you. This is how you know that she can never try to run from him. She can never say, oh no, this is not what I thought it was. He has literally covered his whole arm for you. So you better stick with him. Oh. There was a wedding, but Josh and I were not at it. It was a double proxy marriage, so two people stood in our place and we were married. But two people stood in our place and we were married. One of the have you guys ever heard of somebody doing that? Why do they do that? Don't they have weddings in prison? I've seen people get married in prison. Didn't Jessica and Maurice from last season get married in prison? I'm confused. The first rules for working in a prison is don't date an inmate. I knew that it was like a rule. I didn't know it was a law. You didn't know it was a law. You should have figured out that it was a law. You should have figured it was a law. And even if it's a rule, you broke it. So you're okay breaking a rule just not okay breaking a law just because it would get you prison time just because it would get you a record so people are out here very soon they'll start making all rules laws everything can send you to prison everything and anything can send you to prison because if this is how people are gonna think if this is people's mentality that ain't right that is not right so when i would visit with josh i would wear different wigs to change my appearance I was able to visit with Josh for about eight weeks before I was caught. Mastermind. Mastermind. When I tell you, mastermind. Wow. 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 How on earth did she manage to do that? I still can't get over that. Some colleagues you had, they didn't even recognize her. She doesn't look that different. She didn't even do like a, a whole bunch of makeup, contour the nose, like, you know, make herself a higher cheekbones, just do stuff to make herself look really different. Just a few different wigs. And ooh, I would like to see the face of the person who discovered, oh my gosh, that's Courtney. That's Courtney visiting, visiting the inmate Jaws. And don't you have to show like ID or something before you even enter there? I'm, I'm rather confused. Or did she forge that too? Because that's... That's really criminal. That's really bad. Oh, but she paid for it. They fired me. Yeah, they fired her. I was sentenced to 60 days in jail. And the way she said they fired me, she's like, they fired me. We over here, we don't really care, you know. It's your life. It's literally your life and yours alone. You did all this to get fired. And then now what? Got a good job. Now you lost it. I am currently serving two years of sentenced probation. They on two years probation and she's going to be with an ex inmate. And because of that, that's why she was sitting at that table with that guy who's a lawyer or whatever. They don't want him to parole at her place because he's also on parole. You can't have that. You see, that's what happened in the last uh, thing meeting in the last season with Christina and terrible. Okay. Christina and terrible, terrible was on probation. Christina was going to come out, be on probation or whatever. So they didn't want them in the same house. Kind of makes sense, right? He still wants to f with us even when he's out of prison. They're the state doesn't want to do anything. Leave the state out of this. You did something so heinous that they're like, yeah, nah, nah, you, nah. This was a rule. You broke it, and I want to be all lubby dubby. No, we ain't gonna let that slap. I mean, it's a literal dill pickle, and it has just this attitude on its face saying, I'm. I was expecting a whole lot more attitude. But anyway, so there's this meme that says, well, I guess it is kind of attitude. It's kind of like, I'm kind of a big deal. So that's their their, their inside joke thingy-majiggy. So now. Kind of a big deal. It's been so much that my hot water heater gave out and I didn't get it fixed to make sure that I had money to send to Josh. And these people also, they don't have money. They'll be doing all these weird things. Up to now, it's only Stan who is worth 2.3 million. And he has money. But all these people, they, they literally, just because you have money doesn't mean you have money, if you get what I'm saying. Just because you have money doesn't mean that you have money. You get what I'm saying? You have it in your hand, but it can do a lot of stuff. Do you have the college fund stocked up? This is the everlasting question. If you do not and you plan on having children or you have children, whatever, hey, with a blink of an eye, they are 18 and it's like, whoa, where are you going? I'm going to college. And now you're taking out loans and stuff like that. No, no, and no. Try and save earlier on. Don't waste your money on silly, stupid things. You know, if you want to have a fruitful life full of joy, 
taking care of your kids, grandkids, this and that and that. You need to think ahead of time now that you're able to work and you're free, you're not injured, you're, you're healthy, yada, yada, yada. People don't think like that. Oh, I want this. This is my lover. Let me just send him a lot of money. She had to cut off what water and hot water or whatever. So she could give him money. That means you don't have money. He's got hot water. Let's not, let's not even forget that. He, he's in the prison with hot water. Hopefully he should, he should. Um, but yeah, most likely 90% I'm guessing he should have hot water. And then now you're sitting without hot water so they can send money to him. Where's his family? Where's his family at? Where is his family? This is what I don't understand. I never understand these things, but anyway. But absolutely no part of me feels that Josh is using me. My biggest. Good for you. So now she's dressed up as a deal because of the no big deal uh, meme. She dressed up as a deal, deal to go and meet him. Fear is losing what we have. He's been in prison for so long. I don't know how he's gonna react. Well, he's gonna react really interestingly seeing you dress up as a deal. Um, he's been out 11 years. Usually, he's been in 11 years. Usually, the women are like, "Ooh, let me walk around. Let me let me wear some sexy things because he's about to go down." She's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna dress up as a deal." I wonder how he's gonna react. I don't know. He might either chuckle or be really annoyed that you're not coming dressed all kinds of hot and steamy. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired. In any case, <laughs> it's too much. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb stomp as on the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know anything. Like, because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell. Watch it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos have been here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm. Back here tomorrow. Make sure you're here.